Hey guys, welcome to Killer Drums TV. This is the segment we know as Gear, Gear, Gear. I'm Tony Moore and we're here with Jackie Barnes. Awesome. We're also hanging in the place of drums, Lullabar Music. Yeah. Thank you, Lullabar Music. Jackie, I'm surrounded by Yamaha drums. Yes. Tell us what we got going on here. I thought it'd be cool to feature four different levels of Yamaha's drum range. So nice. we've got um, a beginner kit behind me, the Rydeen. Rydeen, so what, what's that worth? What kind of dollars are we talking? Uh, we're talking street price of just under 1300 bucks. Yeah. So for a full, kind of entry full kit. level? Entry level, you've got, um, comes with hardware, yeah. cymbals, everything you need to play. Right, so, okay, so these, so these cymbals. Yep. So yeah. you've got your Peisty 101 cool. cymbal pack. Okay. Um, there are six ply Poplar shells, so Poplar obviously being lower cost for them to manufacture. Yeah. Now Poplar's pretty popular. Yeah. Because it's in like Gretsch. It's yep. got pop, uh, Poplar, Poplar in it. Yeah, a lot, Poplar, of, Maple, a lot Poplar. of classic drums. Luddies. It's one of those woods that marries really nicely, especially with maple. So a lot yeah. of the classic drums tend to be maple poplar shells, but poplar on its own can be sourced very cheap. Cool. Um, and it's, you know, for entry level kits, it's a, it's a great wood to use. It's, it's you know, nice. it's got a pretty, you know, all round sound it's without being So any... we're gonna strike this one up a bit later, hey? Yeah, we'll, we'll have a little listen we'll, to we're it. Not gonna, we're not gonna tweak too much. We'll, we'll tune it up, um, but we're gonna use the heads that are on yeah. it and kind of, we'll put these symbols, we're just going to insert it back in here. Yeah. Um, so that's the Rydeen. The Rydeen, yep, so that's, yep, a, cool. that's a 20 inch shell pack, so they call that the Fusion. Uh, nice. It's in black glitter, that one that we've got here. Uh, right. So 20 inch bass drum, 10 inch and 12 inch rack toms, and a 14 inch floor tom, and it comes with a matching 14 inch snare. Nice, so where do we go from there? What's the next one up from that? So we move over here to this white kit here which is the stage custom birch that's a pretty looking it's a, color it's a gorgeous color so it's p called pure white um that's so nice this is kind of geared towards your kind of um i would call it yeah beginner to pr intermediate, like intermediate yeah, yeah. it's like an intermediate level kit so you you basically got someone who's done some chop stuff they've they're up and now they're playing out out doing some shows yep, yep. and they want to get a little bit more tone what kind of woods in that one so that's a 100% birch shell, six plies. We love birch. We love birch. We love birch. It's not Euro birch, not but it's Euro birch. But it's um, but 100% birch shells nonetheless. Yeah, nice. Um, with 45 degree bearing edges. Whereas on the ride in, we had um, unbranded Asian made heads. Yep. These have your Chinese made Remo UT okay. heads, which yep. are an, an upgrade from these ones. Yep. Still not a. a Pro US level head, but they're a mid level yeah. head. We've, oh, we've heard those on a couple of our kits yeah. now, haven't yeah. we? And they've come up pretty good. And actually, this snare that I'm using is a stage custom metal shell, so it's a steel yeah. shell. So same series. Same series as yeah. that, nice. um, with the UT head. And we've yep. we've been talking about this snare for value for money. It's yeah. killer. How much is that <laughs> snare, Jackie? <laughs> you know, these retail at two ninety nine. Well, lift it up. Let's let's get her off there. And and I mean, it's just a classic beaded steel shell, fourteen by five and a half. Yeah. Uh, triple flange hoops. It's got the UT head on it, yeah. but I tune this up and it sounds phenomenal. For it the actually price. sounds really good. <laughs> like honestly, when you guys hear hear Jackie playing on it later, um, you'll be like, for two hundred and twenty bucks, that's you know, take two hundred and fifty. It's worth yeah. it. It's actually a great sounding drum. Anyway, okay, that's cool. So, so that's cool. Stage custom. What else about the stage custom we got? Um, so what about hardware? Like as in bass drum spurs. I'm looking at the two. So you've got a, got, a yeah, slight a upgrade. upgrade, it's an upgrade. You've got your kind of, that's the first one where you start to see like, um, these ones you've got a pretty basic lug. Yeah. Whereas these ones you, oh, start, yeah, you right. start to see the Yamaha Absolute yep. lugs on, nice. on all these from that level up. And it looks like it's got um, suspended mounts of some sort, like the old Yes system. Yeah, so they're an old one there and they're direct to shell. Yep. Um, and um, yeah, so they're, really good for the money cool they stack up against kind of like pearl export tama imperial star nice. um sonor aq1 aq2 it's kind of in okay. that in that zone what's the dollars again on the whitey um for a shell pack you're looking at about that kind of 16 1700 dollar mark it's pretty good with, buying. with hardware about two grand and with but you get a snare with that don't yeah you? you get us and at the moment you're uh, giving uh, a, a bonus 14 inch floor tom yeah so check it's out a, the it's have a, a look at that floor tom there you so get, you got um uh, 22 inch bass drum, yep. 10, 12 racks, yep. 14, 16 floors, and a matching snare. So, value for money. Man. 
That's a with good hardware buy. at two grand ish, it's um, pretty damn good. What other colors they do in that? They do a bunch of different ones. They do like um, so like standard some, like blacks. Yeah, yes, and, and some satin finishes. Okay. Like you got some. Cool. Ni there's like quite a nice um, amber satin finish that's really nice that I like in that. I, um, I love the look of. I mean, but white, white kits. Kit. You know, you know me. Oh, I love white kits. So good. Um, so Takes I'm, you back I'm drawn. To I'm drawn Collins, to that. Hey? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm looking. I mean, this this finish. We'll get to this in we'll a get minute. To this. But this is special. But the white kits just pop on a stage. Yeah. Like, you know, I love it. Very nice. Um, okay. So, so, so I'm thinking, is there anything else to note about those? Yeah. Just you know, birch. Yeah. It's they, pretty they pretty looking good. kit. They're kind of like equivalent to a clear ambassador head. Yep. In the UT series. Tops bottoms. Tops and bottoms. Yep. Cool. Uh, their version of a clear P3. Um, yep. On the bass on drum, the yep. and then a like a uh, an ebony P3 UT on the nice. front. Uh, you know, so they're going to sound nice tuned up. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll we'll do a little demo of them as well. So. That's awesome. I like that one. Okay, from there we go over to. Now we're getting up to our kind of um, you know I would say our intermediate to pro levels. Yep. Um, so, to a custom. So these are an all maple shell six ply. Yep. Forty five. Oh, all these kits have forty five degree bearing edges, by the way. Yep. So um, fairly steep. Fairly steep. Inner. You've yep. got a very you know, small nice sharp there. contact with the head, so they're yep. going to be punchy. Yep. You'll notice all of these kits project really well. Yeah. And that's, and that's a hallmark of Yamaha. Yeah. Really. Yep. I mean, I've got the old. I think mine's a eighty seven, eighty eight GAD kit. Re recorded, recorded custom. custom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The black yep. fifteen inch tom. Yep. You know, 10, 12, yep. 13, 14, they're, 15. You know, Japanese so made drums from yeah. the 80s are, are special especially japanese made birch drums yeah we, we've birch had this conversation lovely. many times you yeah. you have the recording custom i have yeah. the tama superstar yes that's right and, yeah. um, and they're and it's funny you know because we we both fell to those 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 points didn't yeah. we yeah it's just because they birch just just does it, its it, thing it, it's and they record phenomenally oh. they they project they they cover the full sonic spectrum nice um yeah, but so, we're talking about maple. We're talking about maple. <laughs> anyway, so back to maple. Uh, maple. But so this is beautiful looking. So this oh, is that's the, a satin. So that's a satin. It's called butterscotch satin. Ooh. Um, and the um, the thing with these shells is that these are the first level in the Yamaha range where you're getting pro level heads. So you've got yep. cool. uh, clear ambassadors, uh, yep, US made like ambassadors, an ambassador, yeah. uh, and clear ambassador bottoms. Yep. Uh, you've got a clear P3 on the batter on the kick. Yep. And I believe that's a, yeah, it's a smooth white P3 on the front yep. and then a coated ambassador on the, on the snare. Nice. So again, um, this is another one of those kits that, you know, street price of this kit is, just, is a, around three grand. That's great buying. And, and you're getting the bonus wow. floor tom as well. So you've got 10, 12, 14, 16 with a 22 on that one plus the snare drum. That's good. Also, I'm looking at the, the hoops. If you check out the hoops on here, they're sort of rounded over, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yep. So that's like, that's another one of the kind of um, you know staples of the you know better quality Yamaha drums. Yeah. They've got that you know Im improved hoops there. Yeah. Um, you've obviously got a, an improvement on the. Oh, is it the same yes mount? Yes, you've got yeah, the yes, you've got the yes, yes mounts yeah. on all of them. So you direct to shell, but you know maximizing the resonance. Yep. Um, I I personally like all these kits have the um, the Yamaha bass drum mounts. Yep. When you're running two racks, I love to have a mount yeah, on the bass drum. It's just <laughs> like I, you know, running clamps off stands it's just it gets annoying and they, they tend to dip. And, yeah. <laughs> um, for what you the, the tiniest amount you, you lose in resonance in the bass drum, it's not noticeable when you record them or yeah. play them enough to really That's true. hate it. But I, I, I quite like these. Unless you're using mounts. an Earthworks microphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll hear everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. And we're talking about awesome everything. Yeah, so, so, so um, yeah, that's a beautiful kit for the price. Um, what size is this one? So it's 22? 22, 10, 12, yeah, 10, 12 14, 14, 16. So basically identical to that. Identical. This one's a 20. Yeah. This is the 20. Cool. And so we're going you can 1200. Get, you can get this in the, in the 22. 22 as well. Yeah. yeah. And you can get them in like BOP. Oh, yeah, cool. You can get them in all different sizes. I'm looking forward to hearing all of these. Yeah, they're going to be good. They're cool. They're cool. Really good. Okay. So how much was this one? About three? About three grand street price. Sort of eight, 18? Uh, about two. Just say, say around two. two grand with some let's hardware. Say, let's say one-ish, one plus. Just over one, two, just, yep, three. Th three. And what's this one? And now we get to what I call the pro levels. This um, is lovely. <laughs> this is a killer drum kit. So this is the live custom hybrid oak. Right, so um, let's start with the hybrid oak first. Yeah. So let's start with the oak part. I mean, I've heard they're old oak drums yeah. and they were really good. See, for me, the oak customs were my favorite of the yeah. old Japanese made 
drums when they were still manufacturing in Japan. Yeah, they um, were lovely. They lovely. were they were a great shell, punchy. Yeah, they were. They were the only thing I didn't yeah. like was the badge. I didn't yeah, like the look of that badge. A little bit boring looking, but yeah, the um, but the drums are so good. But the oak shells were punchy. Yeah, um, oak it, oak itself projects. It's, yeah. it's an aggressive sounding wood. Um, the way this is a hybrid shell, um, and you'll be able to see when we do a close up of the, because we've got yeah. clear heads on this. If you do a close up on, on this, you'll see there's a little black layer in, in, the, in between the plies of oak. So yeah. what they've done is they've sandwiched a layer of phenolic. Phenolic, now I've heard of phenolic before. So phenolic is essentially like, um, kind of like fiber paper kind of compressed to yep. make a, a super hard so pearl pearl did it in the 60s <clears throat> uh, yep, and made a lot of concert toms and stuff yep yep and so it, it's a very hard material yeah that they've used in between the oak to really I help like the projection idea. so yeah. so you'll find when we play these there's a lot they of speak they speak they're, yeah. they're a loud drum you know yeah they're, imagine these are gonna like just just without knowing anything other than what you've said yeah. i reckon these are going to be really quite really placed sounds yep. really clean and clear yep. this is going to be have a little bit more warmth a little to bit it. more warmth that'll probably voice have a bit more low end i reckon yep. off that and i'm very interested to hear what this one sounds like we shall see so um so yeah the the, the phenolic um inner ply or the core cool. essentially of, of phenolic is a really cool idea so but look at the outside yeah it's what's a, the color called so it's called uzu natural <laughs> say um, it again uzu natural I love it. <laughs> now, how do they do it? So, uzu is a, it's from a, a Japanese word called uzukuri. Yeah. Um, so, what that is, if you can imagine having a, your, your shell, your raw shell, yeah. what they do is they sand the soft parts of the grain. Okay. And, yep. and brush out all of the, all the dust oh, and so stuff. It's almost like a sandblasting kind of tech, where you actually, soft timber gives way, yep. hard timber. And so they sand away at the, the grain, and then they paint the whole shell black, yep. and then they re-sand it again, and those bits that they'd sand it down nice. keep the black paint. So yep. that's essential. And then they lacquer over that to, to give that give beautiful that finish. lacquered finish. And it does have a little bit of a, bit of a so texture, you, So it's it? almost yeah. like an open grain finish that's nice. but they've filled in that soft part of the grain they've sanded out with the black paint yeah so that's a really cool and that's a that's a method called uzukuri that's nice and you know what i love i yeah, love kind of blackened hardware what, what do they call the black on this it's not black chrome what do they call theirs no, i'm not sure <laughs> let's let's create a Let, word uzu uzu black <laughs> uzu black uzu black <laughs> uzu black hoops but yeah so you've got darkened hardware on this kit which just it's nice. adds to the aggression and with the mm. so it comes with clear emperors on the batter heads yeah and you can see they've painted the inside of the shells black as well so yeah they just so they nice. if, if you're like a rocker that wears black clothes and you know, black jeans black <laughs> t-shirt you know there's black all over these we're drums. halfway there <laughs> they, they they look really really they, cool. It kind of kind of to me it looks like a, a progressive band. Hey. Yeah. What, yeah. Know, so they're, what they're you'd super see. cool. Like. And so I said all super of these. Cool again. Super cool. We love super cool. <laughs> super cool's good. All good. So these are all that now. Okay. So Yamaha moves operations from Japan. Yep. Is there any kits being made in Japan? There's still the PHX. PHX. Which is their right, very okay. very top end. So they're kind of like. Uh, I believe they're kind of you know ten to twenty grand kits. Ooh. Yeah, so they're, and they're complete custom orders. You, you'll yep. rarely see one out in shops. Wow. Um, they they have the recording custom above this as well, and some yep. maple, like your um, at the they still have some custom maple I think and yeah, a few one. different. So most levels, of these so are now made in their new factory in China. Yep. Yep. And right. um, they own their factory in China, so yep. their quality control standards are very high. Yep. These are still you know I've played Japanese made. Yamahas. Yeah. I've played Chinese made Yamahas. These are still beautiful drums. Yeah. Uh, they, they actually look very well. I mean, th this is still very well finished. You can see the finishing. And even yeah. on, on, a, on a cheaper kit like the Stage Custom, you yeah. can see they're very well put together. You've got your yes mounts. You've got, yeah. you know, really that's, solid that's hardware. That's such a bargain, that kit. Yeah. For the money. Yeah. That's so, really good. So, you know, it, although they have, um, you know, they ended their partnership with the, the Sakai family yeah. a number of years ago and Sakai went out on their own and yeah. they've now been taken over by another company and yeah. moved from Japan as well. So okay. it's a bit of a sad <laughs> uh, story what happened to Sakai over the years. But, um, you know, so they moved their production to their own factory in, yeah. in China. 
uh, and they have, you know, much like Tama, they have Japanese staff running. Yeah, running it. Because the quality, the quality controls yeah. very high. These are very like high. Just just looking at yeah. all of these kits, um, especially these three at the front, yeah. the quality is really up there. Like yeah, know. like when you hold a drum, you can feel. You and can. Like, and you the same can when tell. You, like I was holding yeah. this before. You hold that. You yeah. know, you, you don't feel like you're holding a, a two hundred and you know something dollars. I still can't believe it's that cheap, mate. <laughs> you could buy like a whole bunch of them. <laughs> and, and when you and when you and when so you hold good. the um when you hold these drums and like you know that tool custom that satin finish is beautiful. It is. It's, um, it's just lovely. They're just really they're lovely to look at. You know, they've got a very distinct voice. Yamaha drums. You yeah. Know, they, they speak very clearly. You know, Japanese drums generally do have a very clear voice. Yeah. They project well very you know clean I, I call yamaha drums clean sounding they've got yeah. a very kind of direct clean sound yeah i remember the old school you know weckle and that that real mm -hmm. really well placed voice yep. thing you could just cut through everything yeah you know? yeah so you know we've we've done some reviews on like some pretty very you know the boutique in, in, you know boutique and yeah. very character filled shells where there's yeah. a lot more kind of you know, these are easy to tune, you know. Yeah. Some of the boutique drums you find, you have to kind of work them a bit more to, once you yeah. find the sweet spot, they're unbelievable. Yeah, that's... But, you know, with these, throat. if you're a touring drummer yeah, you and just, you're out on the road and, you, and you've got, you, you're having to change heads, you can do this really quickly with these. Like yeah. they, they tune up really nicely. The bearing edges are beautiful. Um, and they're just um, really easy to, you know, low maintenance drums. I yeah. love it. They all look great. I mean, technically, you know, if you have what, what do we got? How much is this one again? Uh, so this one actually is around that 5K mark about for five, a shell yeah, pack. Right. So for a four-piece uh, four shell pack, about 5K. Yeah. So 10 grand, you got three kits. Yeah. That's actually pretty good when yeah. you can 10 grand buy one guitar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you got, you know, maple birch and yeah. oak. But the good That's thing so is, cool. you know, there's something for everyone in the yeah. line, you know. So you've mm. got, you know, your, your entry level. It's not, you know, there are kits that are under a grand, but this yep. is definitely a little bit nicer than those ones. And yeah. You know, you're getting, you know, for that money, for an entry level, for a beginner, it's yeah. something that will give you an inspiration. It, I mean, to it learn. comes with symbols and hardware yeah. too. I mean, that's that's always a bonus. So. And in the end, you know, when you're a beginner, you want something that, you know, whether it's your kid or someone who's just starting drums, you want to feel inspired to play. Yeah. And if you sit yeah, down at something that looks nice, sounds nice. Yeah. Um, you're, you're gonna, halfway you, there. <laughs> you're automatically going to progress faster as a player. So, yeah. um, they've really done some good good work in there kind of in developing their range of drums and having something for everyone yeah yeah it's great i'm really looking forward to hearing all of these um before i let you play something awesome mm -hmm. what symbols have we got what symbols do we have pasty well, pasty so we've got um one of the classic series of pasties the 2002 series yep obviously uh so that's b20 yeah i'm not sure it's it's b it's we're gonna call it b20 uh, yeah it's b20 <laughs> they 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 have their own um 2002 alloy yeah um and um you know they're kind of steeped in history so most of the rock records that i love yeah were recorded on so like Pisces. zeppelin yeah. ian pace from ian pace he he still uses his purple yeah, yeah deep, deep purple. purple see and he's like my favorite drummer yeah um, i mean you know the police honestly so he, the yeah, police so the hats and everything that was all paste so I've got Pisces 2002, uh, two crashes and a ride, yep. the power ride, and then I've got some giant beat hats. These That's, are just so 15? 15s. These ones 16. I just I just have been drawn to these of late. They're they're quite smooth. They're smooth, but yeah. they're they're aggressively smooth. Awesome, Jackie. I think we've got one thing left to do, mate. I, should I reckon we should have a listen to this kit, and then what we'll do is um, we're going to strip out the drums, and we're going to bring in the other kits, and Jackie's going to play some stuff on those, and we might line them all up in a bit of a uh, whatever they call that <laughs> comparison a comparison and see what you think of all yeah. the you know we've left the stock heads on all of these so you've got yep. obviously unmarked heads on the ride yep. you've got your uts yep on then the we step sage the... custom then we go to like clear ambassadors then clear emperors so yep. we've got four different woods four different shell types yep four different head types and, and no combos. tricks so there's no tricks we've we're just, just yep. tuning them up straight out of the box tuned up yep. and all with this, oh, some of them well, with this. Um, yeah, got a couple of different snares we might yeah, try. Yeah, some of them have matching snares we'll try out, but then if not, we'll be using this yeah. bargain snare here that I love. Awesome. All right, Jackie, I'm going to hop on the lounge, right. mate. Let's, right, let's play go. something cool. Let's get it.
<laughs> wow, that really does voice. It's actually, it's very rock. Very, hey. it, it, yeah, it, it, it made me want to, like I started out playing just kind of sparse and kind of, but then it, it, I just it felt like, in. I felt like rocking out on it. So I did. Um, yeah, it did. And now <clears throat> just quickly, you got your, um, Tom's around the wrong way. What's with that? <laughs> I, I very, you know me, I very rarely run two rack toms. Yeah. If I do, I always like to have my bigger tom right there accessible. Yeah. Those kind of rock fills like. Yeah. You know, if, you, if you're playing off. on the hats here, you want to get to that tom there. Yeah. Th that size, like the bigger of the two rack toms is generally the one I'll use the most. Yeah. It's good. And so I kind of started placing that there so I could use that more as an effect. Yeah. You'll see guys like Kenny Aronoff doing that. Yeah, he's been doing that for um, what, 30 years. Yeah. So it's just one of those yeah, Don things. Don Femulara, I think, does that too. Yeah, there's yeah. a bunch of guys. Yeah. And I, I just, I, I mean, honestly, I would prefer to just have one rack, two yeah. floors, and have my ride nice and close. Yep. But if I were to run two racks, that's how I would do it. Yeah. And, and luckily, Yamaha are smart and put badges on either on side, other of, side the, yeah. of the mount. We like that. That's good. It's a smart options. thing because it gives you options and you don't have to, you know. Yeah. You can show you, your logo of your drums. Um, yeah, so that's how I like to run two that's rack. Good. I get and, and if you look at like um, guys like you know Ian Pace where they're running extra toms like yeah, that's right. and three and, and three and you know, so there's no set way how to run your drums. Yeah. You know, if, even things like if you're doing a fill like down the like a right left like just a single stroke fill yeah going down the drums like this it's going to be more ergonomic yeah. You know, yeah, you're right there with your right left so yeah. it kind of makes sense to have it like that to me yeah. <laughs> it does yeah I've, i mean i've got a kit a couple of kits i play like that yeah um i love it it's a good setup yeah. but I, I, love, I love the fact that even though you're a one up and two down i, I love that you can still just throw something in there and yeah. make it work yeah it's and, and it's options just, it's just about you know finding and and each different kit we do in this setting yeah makes me want to approach the groove differently yeah yeah and, and that's good yeah. yeah i love it all right awesome well i reckon we swap out a kit hey yeah. Yeah. so what we're going to do we might um we might go straight for the rydeen so we're going to pull this apart set up a new one and we'll be back in a tick
Sweet, man. That was so cool. That was fun. So let's recap. What? Um, okay, let's start with snare. What kind of snare? What did you think? What's the winner? The winner of the night was definitely this steel 14 by five and a half <laughs> stage <laughs> custom. 220. 220 bucks it's on our website man. for at the moment. Retails at 299. Um, that's the yeah, that, that's the winner of the night. Value for money, that really killed it, didn't and it, it? It sounded killer. It was great to play. Yeah. Um, it was the most fun snare to play of, yeah. all, of all three that we had. So we had yeah. the, the tour custom one and the stage custom, and then the, yeah. and the, each of this each of the kits had yeah. their own matching snare. I did like that snare though. That, that one there, maple snare six, on the six on the tour half? custom six and a half yeah. deep fourteen. That had nice fat nice bite. body fat body. In um, fact, that I. I mean, I found like that kit had a, quite a lot of warmth about it. Warmth? This one was aggressive and attacky like I thought it would be. Yeah. Um, the Stage Custom was probably my least favorite of the four. Yeah. I would say to play. And um, I find the UT heads... It was probably the... Yeah. The I, UT heads weren't great on it. So yeah. I think if, if you were to go down that price point yeah. of getting that Stage Custom, although the shell pack itself is really great value, great I stuff. would be upgrading the heads on that straight away yeah. because I actually have put some Evans G1s on that and yeah, it improves it, it greatly. Uh, so that one was probably my least favorite to play because of the UT heads. Yeah. Um, the one that surprised me, the Rod Dean was actually a lot of fun to play. It, so it was, and you had a lot of, I was kinda, just watching you play and you got a new I, vibe in it. I felt a bit cheekier on it and <laughs> And and even though they were the unmarked heads, I actually yeah. preferred those heads to the to UTs. The UT, yeah. So and sometimes that can just be the. I mean, that's a birch kit. Yeah. So the frequency range is yep. sort of may, maybe competing with the heads a little. And you know? and also in particular, the sixteen on that one was a bit of a fight to tune. So maybe yeah. there was a, there was something wrong with that particular yeah. head. There was like yeah. I found there was some unevenness with the tuning. Yeah, with that particular drum. So, um, but that one, the Rydeem was a lot of fun to play. Surprising, it surprised For the money. me. What um, a bargain! And you know, obviously, as you progress through the the price points, they got a little nicer to play yeah. and a bit easier to tune. I mean, this one, this one really, this, it just killed it, didn't it? It and and it looks phenomenal. The the yeah, the finish. It's yeah. just the the, the dark look. Uh, um, it's ag it's aggressive sounding, aggressive it looking. Looks, it does. It looks cool. Um, really cool. It just it, it's a really cool kit. So um, yeah, that, we, you, these are all available here at Malula Bar yep, Music. All so. at Malula, we'll put some links down the bottom and whatnot. So yeah. um, I really liked it. Hey, I really I like just hearing the different kits. Yep. Also seeing what what could I like if I had two thousand bucks, what that's going to get me. Yep. yep. Um, I really, I really enjoyed the process, and and that that was a surprising kit. I, like I, I have to say, you know, I'm like going, that's going to be a dog, and I think the heads would wear out pretty fast. They would, yeah, and and but, same with the UTs, like they don't last long. Yeah. Um, especially if you hit like me, like yeah. you're probably going to last a couple of songs. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we were even we were even fighting, we were arguing on whether we should use the Peisty 101. That's true. Symbols that's that true. come with the Rydeen, and I said let's let's use them yeah. just to show what comes in that package. Yeah. Um, um, and it worked. It you made worked. Me sound good, Jackie. Yeah. Um, you know, if you do option the stage custom with cymbals, it comes with the PST5 pack, which we didn't have up tonight. But yeah. that's kind of like in between these entry level ones and yeah. the, and the pro the level one ones. Up. They're a B8 bronze kind yeah. of. You know, you kind of low to mid level symbol yeah. um, that you can option as a pack at additional nice. with those. But if you're going to upgrade the heads on those, I would be going towards you know, like your pro level symbols anyway, in yeah, that definitely, price point. Definitely. So um, it, all around, you know, a lot of fun to play these and, and you know, get to know this brand better. Yeah. Um, they kind of all reacted in ways I thought they would. Yeah. Um, but I was most surprised by still, that. Right yeah, there. I was surprised. And, and this cheap snare. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not going to run out and buy one, but for somebody who is starting out yeah. and, you know, playing some, play, actually playing some gigs, mm -hmm. that kit, is very good bang for buck. Yep. So, uh, look, hey, don't let us, don't take our opinion for yeah. it. Why don't you just put some comments down, you know, which kit you liked, but keep in mind the price point. You know, this kit obviously sounds great, yeah. but it's five grand. Yeah, and it's got you know? pro level heads on it. And yeah. we've, we've paired it with pro level symbols. And, yeah. Um, and sometimes there's a bit of, you know, out in the drum community, there can be a little bit of dissing of gear, you know, yeah. oh, you got yeah. the, but honestly, if, if I had 2000 bucks, I'd buy that white kit and I'd put pro heads on it. 
and I would have a great sounding kit. Yeah. And I would even, I reckon I could get a great sound in the studio with that anyway. Oh yeah, for sure. So for sure. I wouldn't have any, any problem with 2000. Uh, the thing with drums and what I found um, is that always spend as much money as you can afford mm -hmm. and Oh, actually, we spend more than we can afford. Yeah, what yeah. am I saying? A scratch that. Yeah. Don't worry about that. We haven't we, we haven't left this shop in weeks. <laughs> We're here from four weeks ago. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I'm getting gradually more bearded. Yeah. I started out bald. <laughs> Uber Eats is on speed dial now. They literally come up, hey guys. <laughs> We've got a bar tab there. But, you know, like, like you said, in terms of, you know, your price point and your upgrades, you know, obviously... This Rydeen, at the price point, you get everything. Yeah. So you get your, your kick pedal, your hardware, you get your, a, a throne. Yeah, uh, true. Yeah, so you do get a throne. You there do it get is. a throne with it. And, and, those and are a the key things. and a pair of sticks. And a pair of sticks. And, nice. you know, so you've got everything you need to start playing. Yeah. And everything that was in that package, we were using. So Yeah, yeah. Um, That's good. So now you have dented stick. No. Yeah, that, one, <laughs> that one's discounted. <laughs> Just a little bit, maybe 10%. We'll get... <laughs> Sorry, Miller of our music. We just gave a discount away. <laughs> um, I think what, some, what something we should do is I reckon we should, on another one, we'll get the cheapest kit in the shop, mm -hmm. cheapest drums, yep. not cymbals. Cymbals are like you really got to buy pro cymbals. Um, it's where a you personal can. choice. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. even if you just get a pair of good hats, that's probably, and whatever else you get, have is mm -hmm. fine. But I reckon we get a kit, yep. bottom, bottom end kit. Yep. We get some pro heads some nice on it. Heads on it, yeah. We get some snare wires, some new snares, yep. Yep. Um, and we actually go, hey, how cool can we make this kit sound? Absolutely, so, yeah. absolutely. All right, we might we might flip that in for another one down the we'll track. Do, we'll do so. that down the track. So we'll get something yeah. and, and we'll make it, you know, amazing. We'll, we'll put we'll pair it with nice symbols, nice yeah. heads. We'll put a nice throne. I always tell people the first thing you should upgrade <laughs> yes, on a basic right. kit is the drum throne because that yeah. is where you spend most of your time and entry level <laughs> drum thrones. <laughs> tend to be tiny and they just don't work. Yeah, no way. Good drum throwing. Good tip. <laughs> Very good tip. That's awesome, Jackie. Well, um, this has been Killer Drums and this is Gear Gear Gear. I'm Tony Moore and thank you, Jackie Barnes. Thank you, Malulaba Music. Thank you, Yamaha Drums, Pasty Cymbals. Um, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See you later.